One of the problems with the SEG mini lathe and some of its variations is the nut lock on the tailstock. Loosening the nut allows the tailstock to be released so it can be repositioned. There are times that access to the nut can be very difficult, if not impossible. Using easily available materials, most of which you can get from your local hardware, I've built my own lever-operated tailstock lock. The tailstock lock consists of two parts, a clamping plate assembly and a lifting screw assembly. These combine with a handle and a handle stock post to make up a lever-operated tailstock lock. The parts needed for the lifter clamp are a 100mm of 10mm threaded steel rod, a 36 by 73mm steel plate, two 10mm nuts, a spring washer, a notch shown here, a 10mm spring. To make the lifting screw assembly, you will need a 6mm flat washer, a 10mm by 55mm hex head bolt, two 10mm flat washers, a 6mm screw with an allen key head, a 10mm coupling nut and one 10mm nut. Remove the tail stock from the lathe and disassemble it. There are two holes to be drilled in the position shown. One 10mm in diameter for the lifter screw assembly and a 5mm hole to be tapped 6mm for the lever stock. Drill the 10mm hole first and leave the 5mm hole for the lifter handle stop for later. The 5mm hole should be drilled and tapped after assembly and set up when its precise position can be determined. To prepare the lifter clamp, drill a 10mm clear hole in the 36 by 70 steel plate at the position shown here. At one end of the 10mm threaded steel rod, grind flats on either side of the screw so that the end is about 3mm thick. Mark, punch and drill a 6m hole centered about 9mm from the end. Assemble the lifter clamp as shown. It may be necessary to grind the top nut's flats down to clear the lathe bed and reduce the thickness of the bottom nut to clear the lathe bed reinforcing web. To assemble the lifter screw on the 55mm bolt's head, mark and centre punch a drilling point 3mm from the centre of the bolt's head. Drill a 5mm hole about 20mm deep into the bolt's head. Tap the hole with the 6mm tap, finishing with the bottom tap to a depth of about 15mm. Don't worry when the drill cuts into the bolt thread when it breaks through. That's okay. Fit a 10mm nut and wash it to the screw and fit it into the hole that you made in the tail stock. Screw the 10mm coupling nut loosely at the back on the lifter screw. Connect the lifter clamp assembly to the lifter screw with a 6mm washer and the 6mm by 20 Allen key head screw. Put the tailstock on the lathe and rotate the nut so that the position of the 6mm Allen key head screw is at about 5 o'clock. Using a spanner, turn the nut to operate the lock. Notice how the screw and the locking plate move up as it locks. With luck it should lock the tailstock the first time and you won't have to adjust it. If you do have to adjust it, remove the tailstock and adjust the two nuts on the lifter clamp, moving the plate up or down until the tailstock locks securely to the bed. We need to mark the position on the coupling nut where the locking handle is to be fitted. Turn the lifter screw so that the lifter clamp starts to move up and hold it at about the 5 o'clock position. Trying not to move the lifter screw position, turn the tailstock over so that we can set and mark the coupling nut. Tighten the coupling nut then back it off slightly so that it and the lifter screw can turn freely but staying together. Now we have to mark the coupling nut where the locking lever will go. 
this is the point where the locking lever stop will go. Turn the coupling nut so that the flat on the nut faces the point where the locking lever stop will be screwed into. Mark the end of the lifter screw and coupling nut. A drop of super glue on the thread will hold the lifter screw and coupling nut together for the time being. We need to mark the position on the coupling nut flat where the locking lever will be fitted. Make a mark about 25mm from the tailstock. Set a punch and drill a 5mm hole in the nut and tap at 6mm. Throw 25mm of a 6mm shaft at both ends for the locking handle. Before you drill and tap the hole, set the drill depth so that a 6mm drill will pass through the screw but not the other side of the nut. To lock the locking lever and lift the screw together, drill and tap a 6mm hole right through the screw. Remove the screw and nut from the vise and line up the marks at the end of the screw and tap at 6mm. Remove the nut from the screw and run the tap right through the screw. The locking handle screws right through the screw and nut locking them together. This cutaway shows how the handle fits the coupling nut locking them together. Thread a 50mm length of 6mm steel rod. This will be used as a locking handle limit stop. Drill a 5mm hole in the tail stock and tap at 6mm for the, the handle stop. This is how the various parts fit together. After initial testing, a sturdy 1mm spring was added to the lifter plate. Assemble the parts as shown here to make the lever operated tailstock lock. Since editing the video and using the tailstock lock, the 6mm locking lever proved to be too weak to handle the stress and broke. This has been replaced with an 8mm lever. Other than that, nothing has changed. <laughs> 